Number Colorado sees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Bears in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. to about the 37-yard line. The defense snuffed out the option play pretty well there. Yeah, but they didn't do it quickly enough. The quarterback decided to keep this one himself, and the hole was just big enough that he was able to get the first down. He's looking for his man. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up, and something good may just happen. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Two. Kill, kill, kill. Shut Yellow, go. Go. He's in trouble. And it's almost picked off. He zips one over to the right. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. I'll tell you something, I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. They're running it. Yellow two. Yellow three. Yellow three. He's scrambling. Rose. Finds the junior. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big time game. He gets rid of this one. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Cut it left, cut it left. Four down, four down. Come on, you won eight. Three, nine, green. Feeds it to the back, and he hits him hard at the four. Heading for the corner. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That makes this go to at the 10-yard line. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. Once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. It's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Baylor could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. They're about four yards away here on second down. Quick strike and he drops it. Thank <laughs> you. 
The defense was ready for that pass and catch, and they did a good job to hold them for such a short game. That'll bring up fourth and one. And they're coming after this punter. It's away, and it's a booming punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. They're set to go for another round. Baylor holds a field goal lead. Tackle made at the 22. Four yards on that one. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Third and 12. Ball on the 18. Five wide. Let's it fly. And he's got it. Going the other way now. Well, he was facing a big pass rush. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. Nice run there. That's a game of five on the play. That brings him second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 32. And they make the stop at the 32-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That'll make it 35. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. From the 23-yard line, first down. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. job by the defense at getting after that quarterback and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled and once again they'll come to the line trying to convert on third down <laughs> delivers to the halfback on the screen and he shoved out of bounds at the eight yard line and this is the eighth play of the drive immediately tackled. Fires out to his wideout. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. They're at the two. Second down. Three down. Go. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. The Bears lead it 3-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Nice move, and he scores! score by the halfback and a nice call by the coach there just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line battle of wills down there in the pits and that time the offense won and he hits the pat 
So that's an eight play 36 yard drive and they come away with a touchdown. Brad I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance mixing the play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He's got an opening. Makes it to the 41. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. First down. Here's an opening. He decides to keep it and picks up seven yards. That makes it second and two. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Kill. Yellow three. 20. Yellow three. Go. He makes his way to about the 42. Gain 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Here's the halfback with a first down grab. They'll bring him down at about the 29 yard line. Rifles at right, and it's picked off. Big play there by the defense. That's their second pick of the half. Yeah, this offense has to stop making mistakes. These turnovers are putting pressure on their defense to make stops, and it's hard to win when you're always giving the ball away. First and 10. Ball in the 25. Colorado is up four. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll, That'll make, make it, it second and seven. seven. Go! Status go! And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. From their own 27-yard line, third down. Quick throw incomplete one of his receiver. And that'll make it fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the secondary. Baylor's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running back is just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star player is not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense, and then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back, but in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. He's hit and taken down. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Green Black nine, five. Black five. Check it out. Up the middle for a nice game. That's good for a game of seven yards. Man left, man left. That makes us third and three. Don't kill it! Brought down at the 31. Call the game of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Check 
Nice run, and he's brought down. He's on the run. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Third down. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And they get nice yardage on that run. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their schemes. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. This is the ninth play of this drive. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Tackled for a loss. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. It's up, and it's through the uprights. The Bears. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games that you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. Colorado with a one-point lead. Once it all, going deep. He hauls it in. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 22. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Out of bounds at the 16. Call it again, three yards. That'll bring up third and So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Taken down around the nine yard line. The Buffaloes are going to call their second timeout. He's tackled at about the 11. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. That brings us second. And down he goes at the five. And they push him out right around the four-yard line. They get a yard on the play. Not much of a gain for the wide receiver, but at least he made the catch and got himself some positive yards. This one should be makeable. The kick is up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. Only problem is 
They're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's to the 40, and he's taken down at the 43. That's a game 17. First down. Red two! Red seven, red nine. Looks left, picked off. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. From the 42-yard line, first down, Colorado is up by four. And he throws right away. It falls incomplete. Makes it second and ten. And they get the sack. That's a loss of ten on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Low scoring first half of play, but a close game. The Buffaloes lead 10-6. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. It, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football, play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. Number 17. It's fielded at the two. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Colorado holds a four-point lead. He flings it left. And it's going the other way. It's the senior corner. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah. This guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. First and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. Call on the kicker for a long field goal. Kicks up. And he got it. 
Well, that one looked like it was going to be wide, but he put it inside the upright. Yeah, he squeaked that one in, and he didn't have much more than a couple of inches to spare. The Baylor is lining up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Colorado's offense was rolling along earlier, and now they have gone ice cold in the third quarter. Brad, they almost look like a different team. It's like they've come out of the locker room a little bit flat here in the second half. We'll see if they can have something happen, something to spark them and maybe get their mojo going before they end up losing this ball game. Makes the catch and look out. And they make the stop at the 48-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 48. Colorado up a point. He fights forward to about the 49. That makes it second and eight. Three down. Tackle at the 49-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll bring up third and six. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Trying to change the field position with his kick. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. It's been a tough outing for this quarterback, Herbie. Well, he's definitely dug his team into a hole with those three picks. Let's see if he can make a play and somehow get his team back in this. Well, when you play on the road, it's tough to be perfect, but he's not making things any easier for his teammates. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tackle made at the 22. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Makes it out to about the 46. First down. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He finally goes down at the 25-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Kill, kill, kill. Gunner three. Red seven. Hey, check 24. Makes his way out to about the 15. Touchdown, Baylor! He got the handoff and knew exactly what to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can pick his way so well through defenses. They'll go for two in this situation. Two. 
scrambling around. They don't get it. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. like they're ready for the kickoff. Number 18, back to return. The Bears' plan was to run the ball, and they are doing it as well as we've seen it. Uh, they're running the football. These backs seem to be hitting the holes just at the right time. And how about the offensive line? Just opening up some nice holes, just doing what this offense needs to do to be successful. And he's hit immediately. From their own 28-yard line, first down. Caught open field. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. The pass good for maybe seven yards. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. about three yards to get the first here on second down. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. There's a strike complete. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled around the 28-yard line. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 27 yard line. Throws it in a hurry. He's out of bounds around the 24 yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. to the fourth quarter and both of these defenses are still stealing the show. Baylor's lead is five. Great three quarters of action. Tight ball game and now it's the fourth quarter and this will decide it. It's the ninth play of the drive. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. It's first and goal, and they need a touchdown. It's the 11th play of the drive. They're crowding the line. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead.
You don't really gain anything by kicking the extra point here, so they'll go for two and try to go up by three. Colorado is up one. He's got the two. It was an 11-play, 83-yard drive, and they come away with a two-point conversion. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and receiver. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. And he's going to be sacked. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. So the sack makes this a second and long. So the halfback loses about two on the run. There's a strike complete. He's down. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Colorado is up by three. Steps up, and he's sacked for a loss. Loss of seven yards are That'll, That'll make, make it, it second, second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Two-yard line. From their own 22-yard line. Third down. there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. That makes it fourth and eight. Brought down at the 44. The Bears coaching staff and the entire team knows that this is the guy that can win it for them. And the offense has to find a way to get the football into the hands of this running back, whether it's a, a simple toss sweep or maybe a ball out of the backfield where he can catch it in space. Any way that they can get the football to him to see if he can spring one to maybe get the field goal range or who knows, maybe take it to the house. Fires it quickly. Interception. No, they really didn't 
need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. You've got to be more careful with the football. From their own 24-yard line, first down. Just under two minutes in the game. He makes his way to about the 32. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Baylor will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. He's taken down at the 33-yard line, and he gets a yard on the run. There was simply no daylight on that play. The defender came in and dropped their hammer. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. He fights forward to about the 36. I think the defense put everything into that sequence of plays, and for the offense to come up with a first down really is demoralizing for the defense. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. 46 is right there. Check in, check in. Down. Six twenty-nine. There we go. Runs outside for a nice game. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Taken down right around the 46 yard line. The Bears have to look at this somehow as a positive. Their star player had a great game. They just got to look the next week. Yeah, it's tough anytime you lose a game to be positive. But if there is anything to be positive about, it's about that performance by this individual. He, he really did everything that he could do to try to win this football game. Unfortunately, the team ends up losing. But they can't build to the future around his abilities for sure.